Good afternoon, Kutztown football fans, and welcome to this year's first game recap. I am Noah Reinhardt. And I'm Nick Scott. On September 4th, Kutztown played Assumption at home to kick off their 21 season. On the first play of the second quarter, KU's Jordan Davis ran up the middle for a huge game, putting KU in Assumption territory. On Kutztown's next possession, they had a long drive but couldn't get into the end zone. Dean Krisic kicked a field goal that put them up by three. KU was in a tough spot late in the second on the third down and 17 to go, but quarterback Eric Nickel was able to scramble and complete a pass to Jake Novak at the 20-yard line. 36 seconds left in the first half. Nickel completes another pass for a touchdown, this one to Mason McElroy, putting KU up 9-0 going into the second half. Early in the third quarter, Eric Nickel was taken out of the game due to an injury. Backup quarterback Donnie Blaine stepped in to finish the game. Towards the end of the third, Blaine completed a pass to wide receiver Jerome Cap for another KU touchdown. 10.50 left in the game, Jerome Cap again with another reception to set Kutztown up for this 33-yard field goal by Dean Krissick, which made the final score of the game, Kutztown 19, Assumption 0. And on to game two, last Saturday, Kutztown traveled west to face IUP. Starting quarterback Eric Nickel was still out with an injury, so backup quarterback Donnie Blaine started this game. Halfway through the first, Blaine threw the drone cap for a massive gain in yards. KU topped off that drive when running back Jordan Davis barreled into the end zone. IUP responded with a touchdown that resulted from a pass to Irvin Charles. Midway through the second quarter, Kutztown's Jeremiah Nelson had an incredible 34-yard rush. The half ended at a tied score of seven. Late in the third, Blaine rolls out and finds Nelson wide open, and he scores. Fourth quarter. KU scores a textbook-style touchdown with a pass to Cap, who receives the ball at the 20 and bolts to the goal line. Six minutes and 38 seconds left in the game, Blaine looks to pass and gets picked off by an IUP defensive lineman, Ryuna Mitchell, and he runs it for an IUP touchdown. On a fourth down late in the fourth quarter, Blaine connects with Cap again for a KU touchdown, but it's not enough to put the Bears ahead, resulting in a final score of IUP 29, Kutztown 26. So Kutztown starts their season off 1-1. One and one. They hope to make that a 2-1 and one after today's matchup. We hope you all enjoyed this recap. Stay tuned for Kutztown versus Seton Hill next here on KUTV.